In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the Divi Builder Comments module. The Comments module allows you to place a comment form along with all the current comments for the current post anywhere on the page using the Divi Builder. Of course, comments are already a standard part of every WordPress website, and they appear at the bottom of a post or a page when comments are enabled for that particular post or page. The difference here is that by using the Comments module, you have more control over where that contact form or comment form appears on the post itself. So for example, I have a standard post here that I built with the Divi Builder um, for which comments have been enabled. And um, you can see that, as usual, the comment form is displayed at the very bottom here. Now, let's say for this particular post, I want this comment module or a comment form to appear above our call to action. Um, because this call to action is more like you know, a part of our footer, it's something that we display in every single post. And it's not really part of the post itself. It's more um, a call to action for our website in general. And so I want to separate it from the post and place the comment form above the um, call to action module. Um, on a standard WordPress website, this wouldn't be possible. The comment form would only appear um, as part of the, the theme itself. And you wouldn't have any, any control over the position of it. But since we've turned the comment module into a Divi Builder module, you know, you now have that um, control. So if we head over back, head back over to the Divi Builder interface, this is the post we were just looking at, and I want to add that comment module above our call to action. So here's that call to, call to action module I showed you, and so I'm going to add a new section above. I'm going to click the Insert Modules button and look for that comment module, which is right here, and clicking on the comments module will bring you to the comment module settings. And as with every Divi Builder module, these settings are broken up into three tabs, General Settings, Advanced Design Settings, and Custom CSS. As a general rule of thumb, everything you need to build a really great website with the Divi Builder can be found inside the General Settings tab. But if you want even more control over the appearance of this particular module, well then you can venture over to the Advanced Design Settings tab. And this has all kinds of great settings that allow you to adjust every single aspect of your module's appearance. You can, you can adjust the font, um, text size, letter spacing, padding, margin, colors, all that great stuff. And if you happen to be a CSS savvy developer, you can also head over to the custom CSS tab um, and instead of using our advanced design controls, you can input your own custom CSS um, right here. You can add custom CSS IDs, uh, CSS classes, or input um, a CSS um, for any individual element within this particular module. Now we have some great tutorials that go over um, both the advanced design settings and custom CSS tabs. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to focus on the general settings. So I'm going to head back over here, and then I'm going to go over each of these settings in a bit more detail. And finally, I'm going to publish the page to show you what it looks like on the front end. Um, so this module is, is quite simple. It um, displays the standard uh, comment form along with the comments in the um, style of the Divi Builder. Um, so the settings here are really limited to enabling and disabling things. Um, so, for example, if you don't want to show um, avatars, which are those photos that appear next to the name of each person in the comments, you could disable those or enable those. If you want to um, not allow people to reply to each other's comments, you can disable the reply button. And finally, if you um, do not want to show the comment count, then you can disable that as well. Um, which is typically placed above the comment form. And you can also adjust the text color. So depending on the type of um, section that this comment module has been placed in, uh, depending on the background color of that section, you're going to want to choose either light or dark text. And since we're working with a white background in this case, I'm going to keep the text dark. But if you're using a, um, a darker background color, you'd want to switch that to light text to ensure that the comments were readable. And finally, we have the two settings that appear for every module, which is the disable setting, which allows you to disable the module on particular breakpoints. So for example, if you wanted this uh, comment module to be visible to visitors who are viewing your post on a desktop computer, but to disable that comment form for mobile devices, then you could do so by disabling the phone and tablet um, sections here. And finally, we have the um, admin label section. 
Uh, this setting allows you to adjust the name of the module within the Divi Builder interface, which makes it a little bit easier to identify, especially if you're using multiple modules of the same type on the page. Um, so you can adjust the admin label there. So I'm going to save and exit, and then we'll take a look at this on the front end. So if you view our post, you're going to see that, that comment form has been moved up above the call to action and the standard comment form has been removed. And so you can place this anywhere on the page. You have full control over where that comment form appears. But not only is this just useful for you know, switching the position of the comment form, it's also useful because um, it gives you more control over the appearance in the module as well, since the advanced design settings uh, can be used to adjust it. Um, so I'm going to head back over to that comment form module. And just very briefly, I know I said I wasn't going to go over this in too much detail. I'm going to touch on a few of these advanced design settings. And like I said, you can really adjust absolutely everything about the module's appearance here. Um, and you can also, um, at any time, get a preview of your customizations by clicking the Live Preview button here. So that will show us the, the comment form. Um, well, to, get a, to really show you how this works, I'm probably going to want to make a comment first. So I'm going to head back over to this page and make a quick comment. And go back to our module. All right, so heading back over those advanced design settings. And like I said, you can click the preview button here to get a preview of your module. There's my comment and the uh, comment form. Um, so we can do things like adjusting the fonts uh, and font colors. So let's see here. So we can adjust the comment font to something else. Um, we can make it bold, maybe, maybe bump the size a little bit. We can also adjust the text color. Um, so just to show you um, how this works, this isn't going to be very pretty, but uh, we're going to have a um, bigger text. The, the text has changed to a different font. Um, and also we changed the color to purple. Um, heading back. Um, there's really just so much you can do here. You can adjust the comment field font as well. So if you wanted to maybe change this as well, make it make it bold, maybe make it uppercase. Maybe um, bump it up a little bit. Um, adjust the text color as well. Um, you can adjust the, the button styles as well for the reply button. So you can see our field font has been uh, adjusted here. And yep, that's a uh, basic overview of the comment module, as well as a little bit about the advanced design settings. Um, if you want to learn more about that, be sure to check out our advanced design settings tutorial.